All right, guys, welcome to the 10th ever episode of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? We got John here with me, got Jay here with me, got Ivy yeah. behind. Man, we're back with another episode for you guys. We got some rolled up. I got some King Louis OG rolled up, guys. This shit's fucking fire. True. Yeah, Roll I got up, spark up. What do I got? You already know how the fuck we get down, man. What do you got, bro? Bro, I got um that gumbo. <laughs> this show gumbo. Here. I got gumbo too. Yo, that's just clean. That's, that's one of the problems. Yeah. Max, it's bro. nice. I like it. It's the smooth. Max. It tastes good. Shit. Yeah, man. Ain't bad. Good weed, man. Good weed and good vibes. That's how the fuck we rock. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, shout out to all the viewers. Shout out to everybody that's listening and rocking with us. Subscribe. Shout out to everybody that's, you know, supporting and, and actually wants to see more content from us, man. We really appreciate it for sure. But nice. yeah, man, we're back with another episode. We got a few topics to talk about today. Um, and yeah, we're gonna, we're about to get to it. Yeah. Does anybody want to start with something? Something y'all want to lead with? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, well, first off, you know, I had a little scare last night, man, to be honest with you. Um, you know, we were feeding my dog and, you know, next thing you know, you know, I, I see this dude choking, like, cho bowl. like, like choking, choking, like he was, he a Frenchie too, you that, know, they crone is that. Yeah. He's a beautiful dog. He's a great uh -huh. dog, man. And, you know, he's like my little, he's like my son, you know, I don't have any kids yet, you know, so, Word. you know, so I, I see him, he's choking. He's like, you're one of those people, you know, <laughs> he runs to the corner, he's eating and he runs to the corner and I'm like, yo, where he at? And I go, I, I go after him. Next thing you know, I see him. He's like, that, that, that. Like, like he couldn't breathe. I'm like, bro, he was about to croak over. Bro, he was about to croak over, man. I got, I got real nervous. I got real nervous. So I'm like, ma, like I'm screaming, ma, ma. ma. That's, a, that's like, that's like, that's like, that's like yo, yo, I'm scaring off of my mom, bro. And I'm, I'm just like, she's like, what? And I'm like, yo, you almost killed my dog. <laughs> Because, you know, you're supposed to wet yeah. the food, you know? You're supposed to give them a little bit, you know, not the whole meal at once. A word, yeah, little by little, wet exactly. with the food up, you know? It's true. And it's it's crazy. It's crazy. So he took his last breath. I saw him. He was like, Damn. and I picked him up. I squeezed him one time. And he just went, Bleh. He squeezed that nigga one time hard, bro. And he, and he threw it out. Damn. He threw it out. And, then, and his, he heart, his heart was like, <laughs> pounding out of his chest. But I died. He saw the life leave out of me. He's you know, the same way he squeezed yo, right. And I said, no more. I said, no more, mom. No more. You're not feeding the no dogs. Mo. No mo. No mo. No mo. That's it. That's it. I see Poor how mom. you That's rock. crazy. Mom I'm glad he's good though, for real, bro. Mom's just like, yo, I'm going to do something nice for John. Yeah, for real. And the dog dies. Yeah, and the dog dies. <laughs> like, Jesus. Know. We don't give our parents credit. It was crazy, Nah, man. yeah. She was trying to, she was she just, just trying to do a good deed. I felt, yeah, bad. Bro. I felt bad the next day for yelling at her because yeah, she was no. just trying to help me out. She knew I was tired. <laughs> That's a fact. You know, so I got too angry. But, you know, I'm just worried about my dog. She knows I love him. She knows yeah, I love bro. him. So. I'm glad he's good, though, man. Yeah. Remy, Remy's, Remy's that nigga, bro. Me, yeah. For real, for real. Well, yeah, <laughs> man, fucking... <laughs> just like, just <laughs> wilder, bro. But, yeah, bro, uh, we're going to go ahead and get into um, our first, like, more <laughs> serious topic. Um... Going back to something that we talked about the last episode, the Kodak Black situation, man, we got to touch back on it because this motherfucker's facing an extra 60 years now. Oof. You heard it right. 60. 60. Six zero. 60 years. He just got hit with two new gun charges. And as a convicted felon, you're fucked, my guy. You're fucked. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny. No, it's not funny. I'm but laughing. He should have yeah. made better decisions, bro. That's all it comes down yeah, to, man. Bro. You got money. Bro. Yeah, bro. To, but to go from four years, like you could do four. You know what I'm saying? At, yeah. at twenty something, you're like fuck it, four years, but sixty, bro. So what? So what's the? You're the main coming out reason? at eighty something. What's the main reason? What did what did he do? Like, like what happened? It, it's gun charges, bro. Just extra gun charges. Wow. Two more gun charges. That's and crazy. The judge is looking at it like, bro, we've given you plenty of chances, and you're a habitual offender now. Like you, you keep coming back to the court system. We keep giving you chances, and you're not taking them. Like you're taking them for granted, so I wouldn't be surprised if if they they give them some real time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. but that, that's just something I, I wanted to bring up, bro. That you know what I'm saying? Because that's some crazy shit. He's gonna have all that money to not go be from able to... from being rich and famous and having <laughs> access to the world to being locked up in a cage for sixty years, bro. That's, that's some crazy. That's shit, trash. Bro. 
for real. Oh, Super yeah. trash. But yeah, kids, don't stay, get, in, school. <laughs> stay in school. Stay in school, but for real, stay bro. Off drugs. Facts. And yeah. hip hop. Big facts. And don't drink a lot. But yeah, bro, yeah. there was another fucking topic that Jay brought up to me, bro. That shit was lit. It was about the boars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I think it was yo. in Italy. These in boars Italy. got into a stash of cocaine. Nah, chill. I'm about to look this story up. Yeah, I think it was like man. 17 pounds or euros worth. 17,000. But the people who, who it belonged to was tight when the authorities came through. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Boars, who would have known, huh? Imagine they start using boars for like boars are vicious, bro. Bro, like, boars are fucking drug. wild, <laughs> and they don't joke. they'll fuck you up. Yeah, they'll uh, kill you. They'll dude. fuck you up. They don't play. But yeah, it says a group of wild boars uncovered an underground drug ring <laughs> after they destroyed seventeen thousand. I don't know if that's pounds. I think it's seventeen thousand pounds yeah. worth of cocaine buried by shady dealers in a forest in Tuscany. The boars binged on thousands of euros <laughs> worth of class A that had been hidden from the Ooh. cops in the forest and was traded between local nightclubs in the Italian city of Arezzo. They was lit. Wow. Yo, 17,000 pounds of cocaine. The motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, yo, do you, do you understand pounds, how, like how hard it is to kill a wild boar that's Bro, not on cocaine? They'll kill you. Imagine 50 other motherfuckers on cocaine. Husk. They got like little they're husk on the side and they're like, ah! They're not no. Timon and Pumba. They're not that cute <laughs> duo that you see on TV. Them fuck they're not. Them. Yo, they'll <laughs> fuck you, you up, man. Yeah, bro. Like, they kill dogs. Bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, yo, they fuck shit up. But that's crazy. <laughs> 17,000 pounds of cocaine. Somebody's hit. Somebody is hurting. Somebody's gonna <laughs> die for that. For real. Like, yo, I told this motherfucker to go put that shit somewhere else, dog. <laughs> That's <laughs> for crazy. real, like that's a lot. That's a lot. Of that's money. a lot of money, bro. And that's by a... pounds, you mean money? Pounds, like not yeah, like, like uh, pounds, like weight. Yeah, like not so like, it's like we yeah. looked it up earlier. It was like twenty two thousand dollars worth of cocaine. I yeah, that's is. still a lot that's of a fucking lot. coke. Yeah, that's a lot of that's money, like, bro. I mean, that's, a, that's, that's like a, a half that's a kilo right or amount. some that's shit. Right yeah, that's I like mean, back in my days. I mean, you know what I mean? Back back in the forties. You know what I mean? In the forties, no, <laughs> thank you. What a fucking asshole! Thank you. Back in the forties, he's not that I, old, guys. I was born in nineteen eighty-seven. Word, you know what that makes me? The eighties, old baby. enough to know better, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. I mean, that's crazy, bro. Yo, you know what? Yes, yeah, so you dropped your water bottle. Oh damn! Yeah, we got to edit that out. This is... Yeah, it's all good nah, on the I hood. I my jacket down there, but it's all good. <laughs> If I <laughs> fuck my oh, shit up. I gonna, yo, I was gonna move the jacket. Yo, yo fuck out of here. I'll buy another. Yeah, that's what you, you get for making fun of me. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I burnt my jacket. Hey, hey nah. This nigga burnt his jacket 10 minutes after buying it. And I'm gonna be like, wow, he's what a laughing, fucking idiot. He's laughing at me. And now I burnt my fucking jacket. So yeah. karma, guys. Don't make fun yo, of your friends yeah. for burning their jackets Facts. because yours will end up burnt too. That's funny. Yeah. Got my ass. That's funny. I got a story for you guys. Uh -oh. Story time. It's from Florida. Oh, uh, uh, the yeah. wild, wild west. Yes, indeed. <laughs> it's, it, it says Florida burglar breaks into home to make breakfast and tells resident go back to sleep. Damn. My look, man here, huh? as you can see. He look young. He looks legit, though. Yo, my man was just trying to look out. You he know looks what I'm like saying? dad's going to come bail him out. Oh, no, for sure. He's like, my dad is definitely a fucking lawyer. Look at his eyes. He got that <laughs> drunk look, that crazy fucking look in his eye. Jesus yeah. Christ. Authorities say a burglar broke into a Florida home, cooked himself an early morning meal, and told the resident there to go back to sleep. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever decides to grab the idea and use it at my house, you're getting fucked up. Like, yeah, nah, put my fucking real. hands on you. That's crazy, man. Imagine that guy you getting up and walking into your kitchen and seeing a stranger making breakfast, telling you to go back to your sleep. I'd be like, "Bitch, you better be making me some too." Yeah, nah, I'm nah. hungry. You better be getting the fuck up out my house. Nah, or that, or that, that would be like my plan B. <laughs> nah, you better get out. <laughs> plan B, that's, that's be not plan. B. Damn, yeah, you're right. No, nah, because me it depends. If a nigga up, wake like, up, nigga, if you there, you're gonna make me breakfast too, Bob. Okay? Nah, yo, yeah. like I would only you're gonna sit there and cook eggs. I'm gonna wake up to that smell. Yeah, for real, coffee, eggs, bacon, and then I'm gonna come out tight if you. Gonna dip. I'm gonna call the cops. You're gonna <laughs> <get> <laughs> run off. That's crazy. You better cook me something. We'll deal with the legal shit after we eat. 
We'll discuss what the <laughs> fuck is going on. Are you probably drunk? You t- so we'll talk it over breakfast. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, we're gonna talk it over breakfast. Facts. You know and I mean? then we'll go from there. Fuck it. From Who knows? Just eat. Dude might be Master Chef over there. You, you know never what I'm know. You never. Yo, you nah, guys said nah, you nah, met some guy out. at Best Buy and became like Best Buy. <laughs> he can get out. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Man. Yeah. So that can happen, right? <laughs> Yo, nah, that's, that's, that's crazy. Thing. That's crazy though. That's, that's nah, nah. Weird. But all jokes aside, nah, you might just end up yeah, getting fucking crazy. shot. Of like, course, you're in a stranger's house. Self preservation at its finest. You're lucky somebody didn't come out and do some crazy shit yeah. to your ass. Yeah, for real, for real. But that's that's a wild fucking story. Somebody only in Florida, guys. Only in Florida, because that's. I oh, swear to God, it. that's only in Florida. Only in Florida, bro. But oh, yeah, bro, man, crazy. talking about some crazy <laughs> shit, man. I wanted to get into the uh, the conversation of the dark web, oh, dark whoa. web and the crazy shit that happens on the dark web. Because a lot of people, a lot of people don't know about it, and if they do, they're kind of just like they have an idea, but they don't really fucking know what happens on the dark web. Like <laughs> anything, nigga, anything and everything. It don't matter what you it is. You could buy a kid. You could buy a body part. You could fucking. Pay to have somebody killed on organ screen. Organ harvesting baby at its finest. People sell yeah. organs. They create anything. Anything, you, anything can you can think of, man. You talking about like you need a plug? Go hit the dark web. Not the place <laughs> to go play around. For real, though. like, but definitely yeah, it's not definitely the not the place to play around. Cause if they find your IP address, that's that, a dangerous. That's situation. crazy. Like people are crazy, man. They could they could send somebody to go hurt your ass or some crazy shit. Nah, that's kind of scary, man. Some nah, scary yeah, shit, bro. But it, it it shows you that there's always an underbelly. You yeah. know, because people use the internet every day. Yeah. But not everybody, like... That's just the hood of the internet, bro. Yeah. yeah. You know, the, the ghetto. Ain't nobody trying to go into the hood, but you know you I'm go to the hood you. when you got to get what you got to get. No, nah, for real, whatever. Bro. You know what I'm saying? You need an RPG. Yo, my G. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I got hit, it for the low. Hit the wire. Ten the grand. Dog. You know what I'm saying? Ten grand is yours. Hit DB right quick. You know what nah, I mean? That's crazy, man. Nah, but for real, like, it, it's crazy to think about how... It's something that's out of the government's control, too. Like, they, it's not something that can be controlled. Like, the only thing they could do is try to, like, try to keep up with it and try to see where the, the IP Bro, addresses the are and shit. the government needs criminals yeah. just as much as... Of it, course. Yeah, you know, they need them. So, yeah, in, in a way, it's like, you know, the war on drugs, which is one of the biggest failed wars in, in you know, ever. Yeah. The war on drugs, but there's so much money blown away there and fucking thrown away for nothing. Like, the prohibition with alcohol... Right, and then they did. They look stupid now when you look at the pictures of all the police officers with yeah dumping out fucking bus. beer. Oh, we and shit. got them, man. <laughs> it's like yeah. the same with the pot. Now look at that one in California recently. They, I think, was it you that posted it about the cops took a picture and it was legal, bud. And they busted into and they oh. seized a whole bunch of cannabis. Yeah, can yeah you yeah that was me. Yeah. yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about yeah, it. What happened? Ba- nah, basically, um, you know, the cops they raided them and they they picked up like. You know, a, a large a amount, like yeah. a large amount, bro. It wasn't like no little amount. And like uh, they, yeah, they took Yo, pictures. Of, you uh, know how they they, they take yeah. pictures of it after they they seize it, you uh, know, from the from the people, and they take smiling it. Smiling and shit. Yeah, they like smiling. Dicks. They have the dogs out and everything. But nah, it was just it was hemp. It was regular legal. So hemp. it wasn't even at any. It was hemp. So yeah. it probably didn't even have high levels of THC in it. Nothing. It was got legal. their ass. It was legal. Get the fuck out of my dispensary. Yeah. Man. So they had to give it back. So guess <laughs> Real what? Talk, like, they had to give it back. Right, give Walk me my shame, shit. Baby. They gotta Walk give it back. Shame. So that that's crazy, that's bro. Funny. But it, it it amazes me how like the shit still happens like with weed. Like, why are you still worried about weed? Like, there's so many other people fucking are dying. things. There's sex trafficking yeah, going there's sex out trafficking. There. Like, there's fucking fuck people overdosing on legal uh, yeah. fucking drugs that you could go get over the counter. Why yes. are we worried about a plant, bro? Yeah, yes. you know what I'm saying, yes. like. That shit, it's never made sense to me. It will never make sense to me, but it don't really matter to me because I'm a weed advocate and... For life. That's what for the fuck life. I'm about. Until the day I die, that's nigga. Forever. Straight up. That's forever. Until the day I fucking die. Yeah. All day. That's why I'm going to smoke this little clip here until my you know, fingernails burn. But you remember... Um, smoke it to the sting, nah, nigga. Nah, for real. <laughs> for real. I don't know. Smoke I mean, it to the sting. Always, I've always smoked weed, man. I've always... Even for like jobs, like how people would be like, oh, you need to stop smoking for jobs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like, like you got to go in yeah. sober. Like, it's I, like, brother, like, you got to go in sober. Yeah. I need my blunt before yeah. I go to fucking work. Exactly. That's and, a fact. And like, I don't know, man. Like, I've, I've passed multiple drug tests while smoking, you know? And that's kind of one of the topics I wanted to speak about, too. Like, the people work. that work there. Do you think they care? Like, do you think they care if, you know, or they know? Like, even if they find out and know, do you think they care enough to just, you know, go out of their way and just 
No. You know. I, f- I feel like it you there's always that's there's always that one person that does the try like the, the try, try harder yeah, the yeah, place. Yeah. Yeah. But most people don't give a fuck. They know what it is. They know I what feel it like is. cannabis yeah. is like drinking. Do they go in there and be like, yo, did you drink alcohol last night? Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no, for real. That's true. Yeah, but that's how I feel like how that's how it should be. Like there shouldn't be all these rules. Like what you do on your time as an adult is what you do on your time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like the government always wants to step in and like try to fucking like make people conform to their way of like how they feel people should live. Like fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. Live your life. But yeah, nah. But to your question, John, I don't think most people give a fuck because mm-hmm. I've passed a few drug tests and gotten a few jobs like that using fake like synthetic urine. Yeah. And it didn't seem like the people that really even gave a fuck like about <laughs> checking you like nothing yeah. like they're just there well, like I mean, hey they'll I mean, call I mean, your I'm name be like all right third bathroom to your left yeah because i mean i've Put done the it. fucking cup here when you're yeah. done yeah i've done like, it. i've <laughs> done it i passed like five of them using yeah, synthetic bro, pills, i feel you know? like it's the and same it's, thing as the pizza uh, delivery guy knocking on your door right and you guys smoking yeah. and then be like oh fuck put the weed away the pizza delivery guy right like, hide, the, the, hide the bomb yeah. Yeah. Yo, I, I would pass him the joint <laughs> like when that the nigga's pizza guy probably comes, smoking I'm like, that nigga's probably smoking on the way to your house yeah, yeah bro and this Real is talk. people used to have for me at the house all the time and they thought bro. like oh this guy's not gonna take it like younger people yeah they'd be like oh you wanna hit this i'd be like bet yeah Facts. Facts. i do wanna hit this shit i'm a and chief like, on your shit i'm gonna make you regret that you invited me to this shit real talk it's mine now it's That's all lucky, mine. Man. Here, Highway robbery, nigga. Take this roach. That's <laughs> lucky, man. Nah, they don't give a fuck, bro. It's a job. It's a job, bro. Yeah. Yeah, nah, for real, bro. It's it's just a job. It's like anything else. Enough. It's like anything else. They, yeah, like... And then you got to think about it like this. Most people <laughs> aren't going to risk, like, doing that to somebody when they don't know who the fuck they are. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like, That's true. It's like that person could be crazy. You just re- you just prevented that person from getting a job. Now he feels like it's y'all fault. He comes back and shoots up the whole clinic. There's a lot of crazy things going you know on saying? out there. You can't you can't second guess. Like back in the day, I feel like you could be like, eh. nowadays you can't really second guess anything, bro. Remember that guy in Florida that ate that homeless man off the bath salts? Ate yeah. That like you, and you would think, that, bro. Twenty years ago, you know, thirty years ago, you'd be like, oh, a man ate some man's face. That would sound insane. Think about saying that in in nineteen seventy five, a man ain't another man. It, it, it face. sounds it sounds crazy. <laughs> but nowadays, bro, we're so desensitized to so much shit. We're yeah. like, oh, that's that's some normal shit. Like that's that crazy. as fucking crazy as it sounds. Like it's disgusting. It's crazy, bro. This the oh, desensitizing is the key because of things you do. You see it so much, like these school shootings that we were talking about last week. Then there was another one recently after that in Jersey. Yeah. You know, you show somebody that enough, it's going to be the normal, dude. It's not going to be crazy. Yeah. It is the norm, though, bro. Yeah, it's it is the norm. Sick, bro. It's like how it's like like how people brag about catching bodies in certain places of the country, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like Chicago, dudes pride themselves on catching certain bodies. And it's like if you don't have a certain amount of bodies, it's like you're soft. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's normal for everybody to have, like, two, three bodies on them. Nah. It's weak. Right. Like, that's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Nah, it's yeah. like, that's how it is. You know that's, what I'm saying? Like That's ridiculous. You shouldn't have none. You shouldn't. Like, none. Taking, so, taking life, bro, you're not... It's a big deal. Listen, bro, You're you're. that's not up to you. Honestly, I feel like it's not up to somebody to take somebody else's life. People are desensitized to that like, shit, too. Like you taking somebody's life, bro. That that's that's a that's a serious thing. Yeah, that's a serious thing. <clears throat> that's why. Thanks. That's Fishing some it up yeah. to a more upbeat topic. Yeah, yeah for real. I'm getting emotional. Like, they're yeah. fucking depressed in this bitch. Like, Damn. Damn. You got me. Damn. <laughs> Yo, life what about that horse? Sometimes. What about that horse that kept passing out? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, yo, yo that yo, horse yo, is yo, my yo, fucking yo, spirit yo, animal, yo, bro. You gotta show people this. Yo, you gotta this show is, them what it looks like. I gotta, yo, bro, this horse is a straight fucking gangster. This is yo, crazy, man. This horse? I got it right here. Oh. Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah, that nigga's face, yo, dog. bro. Look he literally shit, plays right dead. He, he plays dead every time somebody tries to mount him, is it? Yeah, every time somebody tries to get on top of this horse, he just lays over and plops over. Yeah. 
That is my spirit animal, bro. Yeah, you gotta show them that shit. That shit is funny. Damn, I wish I can work it. Yeah, I'll work it. <laughs> I work it. Oh, work it. Don't threaten me with a good time. I'll work it. <laughs> Bro, they're not shit. gonna see nah, none gonna of see that shit. shit. Ain't gonna see any of that. Gonna have to all edit all that shit out. That's why. <laughs> that's why we need a third camera, bro, so we can fuck. Yeah, you know but I wish you guys could see this shit. But yeah, that funny, shit so. is hilarious. Yo, they, is there a link? There's a link you can probably post it up. Yeah, yeah we yeah, can put a link down in the. You know, we can put a link below. Link down in the but watch that yeah, shit, man. That horse is fucking great. Yeah. Yeah. For real, for real, bro. Nah, man, but nah, that was hilarious. I'm ripped. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty high, bro. So I'm like mumbling over here, but I'm saying things. <laughs> Don't edit them out. <laughs> Come on, mum, mum, mum. I'm here, bro. I'm it's still a, here. Yeah, nah, it's I'm pretty right, lit bro. too, it's man. It's alright to be lit, man. When you got some good herbage, you know what I mean. Yeah, you got some good flour. That's what happens, bro. For real. For real, for real. I feel like everybody smokes weed. I feel like more people smoke yeah. weed nowadays. That even people been... who want, don't want to admit it. Yeah, for real. a lot of a lot of people smoke weed. Yeah, like even if it's like once, like once a month or like once a year. But yeah. you know what it is? Yeah. Like people were scared before, but it's that's becoming, becoming the norm. That's bro. becoming the because norm. What we were just it. talking about, bro. Like it's so normal to hear that somebody smokes weed nowadays that it's like, oh well, a lot of people are like willing to try it now because back then you were a badass. You know I mean? Like who? Yeah. yeah, like if you smoke weed, you looked at like a delinquent. You fucking, yeah. you know, broke the law, bad boy type. Fucking now, bro, bro, accountants smoke fucking weed. Fucking yeah. lawyers White smoke America. weed. Like GM smoke weed. Banker smoke weed. Normal. Like everybody. It's, it's like having a glass of wine. I feel like it is. I man. feel like if somebody can come I think to work and have a glass of wine while their kids are sleeping, why can't somebody come home and smoke a joint while their kids are sleeping responsibly outside? Exactly. You know, you could, Not you bothering could, anybody. Yeah. Cause that's the main thing. Honestly, most most stoners, they're not. They don't go out and bother people, bro. They're not. Out, they're not the ones out here committing crime. Nah. You know what I'm saying? The people that are on pills, on heroin, on fucking harder <laughs> drugs. Those are the motherfuckers yeah. that are out here breaking into cars to get their fix. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like doing shit like that. Like yeah, that's crazy. Cause I don't know about you. Cause if I if I don't have money for weed for the week, I'm not gonna go crazy and rob somebody over some weed. Like right. I'm not. But, right. but you know what I'm saying? Game, but like some, heroin, but for some heroin, people, yeah, yeah, some people with that for, with the harder the drugs, that's not a joke. Go yeah, through, bro, it's heroin. They say that hurts, like the withdrawals. Yeah, they say it's they say physical. It feels like your bones being scraped with like needles and shit. Like, nah, nigga, bro, fuck I knew somebody that. that got that their life. That yo, the problem is a lot of the time, which I've seen, is that people never been on drugs, suffer an accident, get put on heavy medication after the accident, back surgeries, whatever it might be. And then what happens? Bomb, bomb, bomb. You're hooked on these pills and the doctor, boom, takes it from you. Oh, your insurance no longer covers that. Facts. When you, where are you going to go get your fix? Oh, you can't find the pills? Oh, there's heroin available. That's the closest thing to those pills. Yeah, bro. And it's not even that because, like, you at first, you'll be able to find the pills on the street, too. Yeah, that's But true. then you'll get tired of paying twice what the fucking doctor was getting them Heroin's to you for. Heroin's cheap, bro. And heroin's fucking $10 or whatever, like. A hit and, or some and shit. And people, and like, it's so messed up now with all the fentanyl and all that bullshit. That bro. people are mixing shit. They're even putting, did you hear they're putting that shit in pop, bro? Mm. So they're like, yeah, my mom sent me this news clip that's like, be careful. Even my mom looking now, she's like, be careful what what buzz you buy. She's like, because, yeah, people are mixing even cannabis with fentanyl. With fentanyl with that's cannabis. That's crazy. Whoever yeah, thought of that, you're an insane you're piece fucking of shit. piece Fuck of you. shit. For real, like, yeah. who, why would you even... Disrespect the herb like that, bro. Like, that's that's, crazy. that's wild to Yo, me. Yeah, those are just people that want to do harm, bro. Shitty ass motherfuckers. There's always gonna There's be people that want to do harm. There's people that think that, like, yo, this is what's gonna get them hooked, and they're gonna only buy from me. Like, nah. you know, like there's stupid there's ass. stupid motherfuckers that think in different ways. Like, regardless though, you're a fucking idiot, guy. Yeah, whoever yeah, you are, thank you, Shit. thank Appreciate you for giving people another reason to bitch about weed. Yeah, yeah. because it could have been so simple. It could it could have been so simple, just like yeah, you know, we like, you know, everybody was actually like liking it, and now like, it just gives just another to, reason to yeah. give people fear. Like now people are are feel fearful again. Like when the fucking um that one movie came out, 
You remember when uh the Reefer Madness? Reefer Madness, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yo, people gotta look Reefer Madness. Yo, up. look Reefer hilarious. Madness up. That oh shit is so goodness. fucking funny. We'll put that link down there. Yeah, too. put the link down yeah, in the yeah, in the description because that shit's hilarious. But when that movie came that. out, it's like everybody was fearful. Everybody's like, oh well, fuck, like. <laughs> That's what got weed. people really scared of about weed. Yeah, bro. Yeah, about, I don't even like calling it weed. Cause that's a derogatory term. Marijuana. You know, cannabis, marijuana. Cannabis. Weed was given to us, so people look at it as well. Flower. Weeds are shitty, bro. Weed. Yeah, you weeds know, are shitty. Weed. So that's like, I saw some dude, some real stoner dude, told me that. I'm like, yo, that's fucking deep. Like, that's why I like calling it flower, life. bro. Yeah. Cause it. it is a flower. It's a beautiful flower, actually. Yeah, like bro. if you look at it, if you look at a fucking weed plant, bro, like like marijuana plant, it's like that's just oh, beautiful, bro. It's a it's a flower. For real. It's a flor. It's a flor. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You gotta say it. We'll put some, we'll put some links to pictures. Yeah. Yeah, Some for real. real flowers. Some, some real, real flowers. flowers. If you guys are looking for some, I've been reading, I've been reading these books Cubano. called the Canna Bible, bro. Look them up, man. Them motherfuckers, them books will teach you about strains. Like, yeah. For I love real. learning all that. Bro, it's, yeah, it's interesting. You know, they're they not got, long. They got a week college now in Orlando. Yes. Yeah, bro. Yes. Congrats, yo! yo round of crazy. applause. Yo. Boom! I love round you guys, of applause man. to Orlando, man. That's the first step Being to, the to yeah, like legalization. Because now all those people that are going through those schools, once these dispensaries open up and it becomes legal, which it will, people are gonna have jobs. We're gonna have bud tenders. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be. You know what it's I mean? It's gonna I be, be actual, actual smoker. Yeah. It's that, gonna be a vibe, man. It's gonna be extra. a good vibe. I wanna try it's like different. Amsterdam. You go to Amsterdam, you can go and sit in a cafe and and Big smoke fact. smoke some joints. Yeah, I can't bro. wait till like, the day where we have cafes like that here. It's coming, bro. It's gonna it's, it's gonna, gonna happen. Mind, Miley Cyrus opened up some like restaurant cafe shit in uh California that's like popular as hell right now. For yeah. real? Yeah, it's like a, and it's it's like like a pot, it's, it's a like pot a, theme. Yeah, that's crazy. Word. Yeah, I, don't know I see you, Miley called, Cyrus. Yeah. See, I see you. Salute. Yeah, I don't yeah. really like your music, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we Fact. was bumping that night. Though. We was bumping yeah. it that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 we was playing. Nah. Damn. Oh, 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 hey, hey, that never happened. I never yo, had, Miley Cyrus. Yo, Hector nah. don't know about that. Nah. It's all good. Yeah. It's hey. all good. Hey. Nah, nah. Está nah. bien. I'm going to beep it out. Está <laughs> bien. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm just kidding. But, but nah, nah, bro. Nah. Real talk. That shit was turnt. Nah, yeah. But your music's all right. It was... <laughs> <laughs> yo, that wrecking ball go hard. Yeah. Hard. Yo, I I'm not going to yeah. lie, dog. I've been caught at the red light singing. That single Miley Cyrus song. Bro, you know them... He's like, <laughs> what's up? Damn, Damn man. No more <laughs> knock your ass out. Yo, guys. Yo, I almost got a concussion yo, I remember, in this bitch. Yo, I'll never forget the time I was riding to the gym with this guy over here. Yo, bro. Yo, let I him never know. told you this. Let him know. He overheated. It was too My hot nigga. in Florida. You know how it gets you It gets that you crazy. That shit was like He's 100. A giant, bro. It was like yo. 102 <laughs> degrees outside, nigga. So imagine yo. what the fuck it was inside the car. I got yo. in that bitch, bro. And I about... <laughs> My AC croaked over, nigga. My, my AC wasn't working at the time either. Yo, this nigga, yo, yo, yo. yo when you're six five, fat as fuck, with no <laughs> AC in a Florida fucking summer, you're gonna pass it's out, bro. Jordan, so I underestimated when I moved. Yo, from New that York shit is here, not a joke. People are like, "Oh, you like it now?" Because it was like you know, February. They're like, wait till the summer, and I'm like, oh, I love hot weather. No, yeah, they're yeah. like, no, really, you wait till don't. The summer. You don't like hot and weather. And then summer guy here, and I'm working outside. You know, on yeah. and, and the outside all day on asphalt. Yeah. Oh, bro. Fuck that. Bro, I felt so bad for some, you know, bigger dudes that work with me. Drenched. Drenched. Yeah. In sweat. That would have been my fat 105 ass. 105 outside. Nah. I'm calling my wife that's, like, I don't think I'm ready. How, yeah, that's Maybe how it North is. Maybe North Carolina. 